All right, this lesson is a review of our uh, graphing rational functions. This will be our classwork and homework. Um, and uh, I will post this on Edmodo. So let's see. The domain. What's the domain of this thing? What's the first part of it? Negative infinity to negative three. Okay. All right. That's the this first branch. What about the middle part there? Yeah. Negative three to positive three. Asymptote to asymptote. All right. And this last branch down here at the bottom. What's that? Three to positive infinity. It's all x values. Okay, three to infinity. All right, any questions on the domain? Okay, now the range is the y value. So now we're looking bottom to top. All right, so both of these branches at the bottom occupy the same y values. So what's the range of these, uh, both of these? Correct, negative infinity to negative four, all right, to the asymptote there. So negative infinity to negative four. We'll start off with that, negative infinity to negative four. Okay, now notice that then there's a gap here in the middle before we get to that upper branch. Okay, and I gave you this little point here to help you out so you wouldn't have to just be guessing. So what's the range of the upper branch? Uh, 0. 0.7 to uh, infinity. 0. 0.7 to infinity. Go with the y value there. So 0. 0.7 to infinity. Any questions on the range? Herbe. Um, so you know, like, what about the gap between uh, 0.7 and negative 4? Are there any y values in there that are covered? Yeah, there are no y values in there, so we just don't mention them. Um, yeah, Bryce is pointing out to me that I made a mistake on the, uh, by putting a parenthesis on the 0.7. That should be a bracket. It's touching the 0.7. It's not an asymptote or anything. So, yeah, bracket on the 0.7. All right, any other questions? Okay, um, now, increasing and decreasing intervals. Remember, these are strictly x values. Everything I, I'm about to do is an x value. So um, I'm just going to go from left to right. So from left to right, we're starting off with a decreasing interval. Because from left to right, this is going down, 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 down. OK? Now, I want x values, though. So what is, oh, give me a second. OK, so this end over here, what's the x value of this area? Right, the x value of this end is negative infinity. OK, what's the x value of this end over here? Negative 3. OK, this is approaching the asymptote over here. So you got to go by the asymptote, and the asymptote is at negative 3. So negative infinity to negative 3, that's my first decreasing interval. OK, so I'll put this on decreasing. Negative infinity to negative 3. OK, just stop me if I confuse you. So now, then the function picks up right here. And it is another decreasing interval. OK, so it's now it's, the, it's decreasing from here to right there. All right, so again, x values are what I want. OK, so the x value on this end is negative 3 because of the asymptote. And of course, the x value right here is 0. So negative 3 to 0, uh, another decreasing interval. OK. Always use round parentheses for your uh, increasing and decreasing intervals. All right, and then it be begins uh, increasing from there. So it's increasing from here like this. 
Okay, so again, I am interested in x values only. Okay, so clean this up. So obviously, this end on the left is zero. Um, what's the x value right here? Infinity. infinity, and not because it's going up. Wait, it's not infinity. Hot. Huh? It's not infinity. Right? If we were thinking infinity, we were probably thinking infinity because it's going up. But we don't care about the fact that it's going up. It's approaching this asymptote. And that asymptote is at 3. It's not going past there. So 0 to 3. Okay? Does everyone understand why it's not infinity? Who said that? Okay. All right, and then we pick up with this branch down here for the final branch. This branch is also <coughs> increasing. Okay, it's increasing like this. From left to right, it's going up, 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 up. Okay, and once again, um, and Jasmine, let me pick on you for a second. Uh, Jasmine Harris, that is. Okay. Can you give me the x value of this side of the interval? So this interval goes from 3 on the left, an x value of 3 because of the asymptote, to an x value of infinity because it goes to the right forever. So that last interval is an increasing interval. Wait, did I not write down my other increasing interval? Oh, man. Got to go back. So, um, so we have an increasing interval from 3 to infinity. Apparently, I didn't write down my other one. OK, and this increasing interval was from 0 to 3. OK, <coughs> any questions so far? All right. Now we got the. OK, so now we're supposed to uh, say what's the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Um, but what do you think? What's the x-intercept? It's going to be uh, not, uh, not because it, it never crossed the uh, word. Right, looking at the graph, it never does uh, reach the x-axis. OK, the upper branch doesn't touch the x-axis. The lower branches, they don't reach the x-axis. So. There is no x-intercept, so we'll just put none. All right, is there a y-intercept? Yes. Yeah. All right, the y-intercept is right here. All right, 0, 0,7. This dot right here is the y-intercept. OK, so 0, 0,7. All right, it's time for end behavior. So that's going to always be like this. As x approaches negative infinity, all right, that means as we go to the left, we're going to see what happens. And then as x approaches positive infinity, we're going to see what happens to the function. So here, uh, we're looking for y values now. So is it rising? Is it following? Is there a horizontal asymptote? So first, uh, as we go to the left, well, as we go to the left, the graph is approaching this uh, asymptote. So what are we approaching? Negative 4. Negative 4. OK, so on the left, we're approaching negative 4. OK, a y value of negative 4. What about on the right? Negative 4 again, because of the asymptote. OK. So that's it for uh, problem number one. OK, so problem number two. In fact, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video here. It's a little short for a video, but um, the next several problems are completely different. So I'm going to stop this video now. We'll pick up with number two on the next video.